Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Java that is Java 19 on Windows operating system. So let's begin. Now to install the latest version of Java, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar, you need to just simply search with JDK download and hit enter and you'll be getting this oracle.com as our first search result. So here you need to just simply click on Java downloads and you'll be getting this you know official site of oracle and here you can see that java 1 is back so if you scroll down you'll be getting that java 19 is available for download along with java 17. so since the java 19 is released i'll be downloading the java 19. if you want to download java 17 then you need to switch to java 17 tab and you need to uh, you know proceed with the download uh, i'll be recommending you to download the latest version which is java 19 and here uh, depending upon what operating system you are using linux mac os or you know windows so you need, you need to switch to those tab if you are using mac then you need to switch to mac and if you are using windows then you need to switch to windows tab okay so this is windows i am, i have switched to windows tab and from here you will be getting that three you know options are there to download i will be recommending you to install this msi installer which is basically the microsoft installer so just simply click on this download link and it will going to start downloading our java see it has rightly started downloading our java since i have already downloaded it i just simply cancel it i'll minimize my browser i'll go to my download directory you can see my java 19 is already been downloaded over here okay and the file size is 157 mb so it is not a big file so let's you know start uh, uh, installing our java 19 so just double click on the installer and you'll be getting this you know java ic development kit 19 setup installation wizard rightly open so let's minimize our download directory here you need to just simply click on next and this is going to be our installation destinations that is the c program files java jdk 19 so they're going to create a java directory inside our program files and then they're also going to create our jdk 19 i'm going to show you all of that in later part of the video so keep watching okay so just simply click on next and it will ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes and there you go our installation has rightly begun so this installing java will take a couple of minutes so it will be coming back right after completion of this process yep so we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our java ac development kit 19 is rightly installed so you need to just simply click on close so now that you know that our java is rightly installed it's time to set our environment path okay that's what uh, i was telling uh, during the installation so what you need to do is you need to go to your c drive okay and then you need to go to program files and remember i have showed you during installation that it's going to create a java folder so see that java folder is rightly created just simply go inside that java folder and see we have jdk 19 over here okay so our latest version of java that is jdk 19 is uh, that folder is rightly created over here so just simply double click on it to go inside that folder and here you'll be getting this bin folder so just simply go go inside that bin folder and here you can see there are so many files and folders are there so many dlls so you don't need to do anything okay all you need to do is just simply click on this address bar then right click and copy so you need to copy this program files java jdk 19 slash bin path over here okay and now you need to go to this search icon and here you need to just simply search with environ and you'll be getting this edit the system environment variables remember you need to click on this edit the system environment variables not edit environment variable for your account and you click on this system environment variable okay so just simply click on that and it will open this system properties window then click on environment variable and it will going to open this environment variable window here under system variable you need to click on path and then you need to click on edit now you need to click on new then here you need to click on right click and paste okay so you need to copy that you know java installation bean path and then going to paste it over here inside this environment variable window then just simply click on okay so after setting environment variable you need to set environment uh, java home as well okay so for that you need to just simply click on new and you'll be getting this you know new system environment variable here you need to just simply type java underscore home and give you know right click and paste 
but this time remember you need to delete this bin folder okay you need to keep till jdk 18 that's all now just simply click on okay then again okay and then again okay okay now just minimize this and uh, again click on the search icon and type with cmd will verify whether java is rightly installed or not so just open a command prompt and here just simply type java space dash dash version and simply hit enter and there you go see java 19 is rightly installed on our system so now that you know java is rightly installed i'll quickly demonstrate a simple hello world program in java so i'll just simply create java practice folder i'll just simply go inside that folder i'll simply going to create a new text document and i'll name it as hello world okay and i'll also change this extension to dot java okay and hit enter so yes and see it has rightly changed just open that you know file in uh, notepad and here i'll be typing just simple hello world program over here so class hello world and uh, i'll be creating my main method so public static void main string args right and i'll be just again going to open up brace and i'll be just simply printing system dot out dot print ln okay and uh, what i'll be doing i'll be printing hello world that's it now just simply go to file and save this i'll just simply compile this program so i'll just simply type in this you know address bar cmd and click on uh, just hit enter and you can see that it has rightly opened inside our you know java practice directory and now to compile we need to just simply type java c and then our file name which is hello world dot java and hit enter and see it has rightly compiled and it has generated this uh, dot class file so all this basically means is our program is compiled successfully it's time to run our program so for that just simply type java and then our class name which is hello world and hit enter and there you go hello world is rightly shown in our console so in this way you can easily install the latest version of java on a windows operating system so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all